This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Hello friends, welcome to another studio vlog. My name is Sai and I'm an illustrator based in Japan. This vlog is going to be bits and pieces from the past few months and we're going to start off packing some orders. My last video was a packing video but I couldn't fit in all these clips because it was just getting too long already. So here they are. After that we're going to have a little bit of drawing, a little bit of packing happy mail, cooking and you know my usual studio days. Okay, so let's get to work. I was lost in the arm of a foreign nation in a shop to escape the rain. Not to have a conversation And that's the moment you step in To find some shelter too And get a word you're saying by girl Her eyes are red and new Cause I don't know What her lips are saying From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know I 
it's November now and I think I'm going to put together my little tree and maybe take down some of the Halloween stuff that I put up. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it here or put it on the dining table. For now, I'm gonna leave it here. A quick thank you to today's sponsor, Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Tokyo Treat is a monthly subscription box with the latest limited edition Japanese snacks. December's theme is Santa's Snack Fest. Winter is probably my favorite when it comes to seasonal flavors and I love so many things they've included here like milk tea, white chocolate and salted caramel. I also love how festive the box design is this month and this would make a really great snack box to give to someone or even as a treat for yourself. Sakurako focuses on artisan and authentic Japanese snacks and the theme this month is Tochigi traditions. This box came with a furoshiki which is a traditional wrapping cloth and I'm just in love with how beautiful it is. This month brings you traditional snacks from Tochigi Prefecture and introduces some of their famous delicacies such as strawberries and yuba. Both of these boxes come with a booklet inside that features interesting facts about Japanese culture as well as information about each snack and if they have any allergens. I'm gonna try the Tokyo Treat box. I think we should definitely try the drink. This is the milk tea and I want to try this white chocolate waffle. I always love how Kit Kat comes out with all these different seasonal flavors. So I think we should try this one, milk tea flavor. And salt caramel pocky. I do really like winter season in Japan because there's a lot of flavors that I like and salt caramel is one of them. Can't go wrong with milk tea. Mmm, mm. it's good. Cute. I love that they put effort into the packaging. Having all these different colors in one pack, that's really fun. Let's try the waffle. It's nice. It's really rich. But it takes a while to get the taste, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Pocky. Cheers. It has strong taste of salt and caramel. I really like it. Mm. Now let's try the Kit Kat. Mmm. If you like sweet, you'll like it. Okay, now we're gonna try the Sakurako box. I really like that this month they included a furoshiki. And they also included instructions on how to wrap it. This is aged sencha from Shizuoka. I don't think I've ever had aged sencha before, so I'm, I'm curious about this one. We're going to try this Beko Ame from Tochigi. And we have this Amao strawberry almonds. Amao is a type of strawberry in Japan. It's known as the king of strawberries. And we have these strawberry and yogurt piccolo doushe. Is that how you say it? Doushe. Finally, we're going to try these yuba chips. Yuba is tofu skin and it's one of my favorite food ever. Wow, that looks good. I wanna try the yuba. Mm -hmm. It's super crunchy. Wow, I want more. Where can I get this? I've never seen this before. I have to go to Nikko to eat this. <laughs> Stop eating it. 
Okay, now I'm going to try the strawberry almonds. Mmm, it's good, it's crunchy. Mmm, mm. okay, let me try the tea. Yeah, it is different than normal center. I would expect the taste to be stronger, but it's actually more mild. Mm. Okay, let's try it. Mmm, it has a very gentle taste. I think the sourness of the strawberry goes really well with the creamy and sweetness of the yogurt. Okay, let's have the candy. Each candy has different shapes. I don't know why, but this kind of thing makes <laughs> makes me so happy. The packaging is super cute. I think you can give this as a gift to like a little kid or to someone like me. <laughs> and they'll be happy. If you're interested in trying out some authentic Japanese snacks, check out Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. You can use the code LOVESOUP or check link in my description to get $5 off your first box. Yeah. 